close there. Hey guys, uh, you ever want to go do something, but you have to fix the thing you're gonna use, the tool, to, before you use it? Well, that's what I'm doing right now. I need to cut the grass. And this valve here for the gas tanks, very loose and it leaks. I don't know if you can see that it's leaking, but it's leaking. You can see it's all rusted. So I got a new one off Amazon. This is gonna go, hopefully I can turn, I guess it's gonna go this way. Anyway, it's gonna go there. They give you uh, some more hose. I don't know how they wrap it up like this. Anyway, I'll have to undo that. They give you two filters, which I don't currently have any filters going from the tanks. It just goes from the tank right to the to the valve, so I don't, I don't know. Um, these little rubber garments go in the bottom of the gas tank. I don't know if they're the right size, but they do give you new clamps. I'll probably use those, so I'm not going to use the filters. Use the new clamps. I don't think I need to use the hose unless this hose is bad. I'd probably just be using this and those clamps. So anyway, let's get to it. I need to flip the seat up, take this off, unbolt this, and see what happens. This should unscrew here, I think. I know. Let me take some stuff off here and we'll get back to it. Okay, well there it is. The new one's on there. Left tank. Oh yeah, it's a lot tighter too. Main right tank. So I want it on the left tank right now. I kept the same filter. I didn't change anything else. Um, I used this. These are good tools to have with the, uh, they wrap around the hose and you can pull on the hose without damaging the hose. And then I just use this to pull the clamps off. These clamps, you see I used, there, here's the old ones. Put the new ones on. Uh, this here was just, it's not screwed in, it's just hammered in. So I was able to just pull that right out. That was in here. And what else? And I, I used this also just to tighten the, the nut right there. And it's done. Very simple. I didn't I didn't film it all because it was just that. It was very simple. Now I'm putting this stuff back on. This just uh, protects the the fans here like a guard. And that's going to be it. Um, quick little video. I don't know. I mean, hope maybe this helps somebody. But I'll put the link for this valve if yours is leaking. I mean, this is, don't take a, if you have a mower or something like that, it's got two dual tanks. You can do all this stuff yourself. It's not that hard. Like, I mean, literally this took me five minutes. It took me like five minutes to do. I think the parts cost, well, I got the one with the hose and all this other stuff, so it might have been maybe, maybe $15. I don't know. But I just wanted to show you that you can fix stuff yourself. It's fairly easy. And uh, hopefully this video helps somebody out. If it did, if this video helped you out or you know somebody else that this video might help out, go ahead and share it for me. Um, hopefully they can get use out of it too. Anyway, I'm going to go cut the lawn. It's going to take me like... I don't know, hour and a half to go cut the grass. And uh, then I'll be moving on to the next. I can check that little project off of my list. I don't have to worry about the mower. Next thing, I'm still waiting for parts for the blower. That's going to be a video. This, I've been working on this blower for I don't know how long. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. See you later. Bye.